Oh my goodness, I'm trying to keep my voice down. I, I need to contain my excitement. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing some tarantulas from Micro Wilderness and a Phonopilma Calcodes and a Toledo Cattle Vegans. And you're probably like, Kat, you already have an Aphonopilma Calcodes and a Toledo Cattle Vegans. True, these are a little bit different than the ones that I have. And I know that might sound confusing, but I will further explain as we open it up and take a look at them. Unboxing from microwilderness.com. <laughs> All right. Of course, here is his information. Oh boy. All right, it looks like we have the Aphonopilma Calcodes on top. From what I can see, she looks good. Let's keep going. And here is the Toledo Cottle Vegans, and oh, these are both really nice sizes. So they both look like they have made the journey just fine. I cannot really see in that well because it's a little dusty. But before I start pulling these out and getting a better look at them, I obviously need to make some enclosures. And I have some enclosures. Some new enclosures from Tarantula Cribs, of course. Oh, I'm so scared I don't want to scratch the acrylic. Oh. This is the large slider. packed so well. It looks so good. Crystal clear. So we'll set that aside for a second. And two. So let's get these together. Prep the soil for both of them. Oh my gosh, this substrate is like super warm because it was in the trunk of my car all night. Like, look at this humidity. <laughs> okay, it's like, it's like airing out really quick. Okay. That should be good. <laughs> now I would put some pothos in this, but I killed some of mine, like my personal patho plants are like doing good. I bought some pothos specifically for enclosures that's like ready to go and um, I left it outside and it like rained and I had days to bring it back inside while it was raining and I just never did so whoops. <laughs> I'm missing I had I bought like two packs of these candle holders and I'm missing some so we will use these water dishes and then I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of sphagnum moss uh, or a lot that's a little too much actually that looks just fine we'll do a little bit of leaf litter whoops Moss in this one. It's a huge wood chip. <laughs> okay, so these look really good. I think that they'll be happy in them. This one's for the vegans and this one's for the Aphonopilma calcodes. So I feel like the vegans might be a little bit of a brat if it's anything like the vegans I already have. So maybe we will do this one last and then we'll just do the calcodes first. So what's really cool about this is that, wait, where's my brush? All right, so this is the Aphonopilma calcodes. The reason why this one's a little bit different is because the one that I have, it's the Arizona blonde, which means that she was located or found in Arizona or she's like that locality because obviously Arizona blondes range outside of Arizona, but do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> On the USA side, she was collected from the USA. This species is also an Aphonopilma calcodes, but this is the Mexican blonde. So different common name, probably slightly different looking. Could it be a different species? I feel like it could be. I feel like we have a lot of Aphonopilmas that look very similar that are probably different species. Because even the ones that we know are different species really look similar. So I feel like it's, you know, possible that they aren't the, actually the same species. Oh, she's really pretty.
Nate told me that they are very friendly. <laughs> so hopefully that's true. Oh, hi. Oh, she seems like she's ready to take off. So I'm just gonna give her a minute because she is right there on that edge. <laughs> Do I really need a catch cup for an Afona Pelma Calcotes? Probably not. Famous last words, maybe. Oh, wow, she's really pretty. Yeah, just right off the bat, I can say she does look slightly different than mine. Can I come on out? Oh, she is a gorgeous looking one. Look at her. Wow. Very beautiful. Check her out. What a pretty girl. Oh, she is gorgeous. She's webbing up down here already. If you want to come out, I will not stop you. Do you want to stretch your eight little feet? She kind of like paused for a second and was like, wait, this is not dirt or plastic. What do you think? Tarantulas definitely will notice, like when they walk on skin, they really just don't like to, you know? Some of them won't touch it. Like some of them I have won't mind. They will just keep walking straight on out without any coaxing and be like totally fine with it. Some of them are just really um, unsure about it. Wow. Oh, she is gorgeous. Wow, check her out, you guys. She is phenomenal. What a beautiful girl. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to keep my voice down. I, I need to contain my excitement because they don't really like the <laughs> loud noises. Not that they hear, but they can like really feel like wind and vibrations, you know? All right, so I took some pictures of her really quick. She does not seem to mind at all. Very, very cool. I love her so much. So, so cool. Oh, thank you so much, Nate. But let's move on to this Vegans, who hopefully is not as spicy as my man-eating Vegans. I do have her with me here today. I thought we could take a look at the two of them together, not like together together, you know what I mean? I wonder if the purebreded vegans is as spicy as the hobby. Like, I'm just really curious. Oh my God, this totally looks different. This looks so different. Now it could be that she needs to molt maybe, but she looks very brown. Totally looks different. Let me get you in closer. She really does look different. Like the, the legs look different to me. We'll just, we'll just get her in here first. We, we definitely chewed up this paper towel a bit. Oh. There you go. Good girl. Let me see if I can grab mine and we'll just do a quick comparison. It might be like a little difficult to get on um, on camera. Look at her legs specifically. Her legs are very dark. They're actually very black. And then check this one out. Do you see like the lines on its leg? There's definitely a difference between the two of them. So with the hobby form vegans, they've been rumored to be like very mixed, not not at all purebred, just because of like, there's probably lots of hybrids that have happened. There's a lot of Toledo cuddle species that look very similar. So this is what a hobby form Mexican red rump or Toledo cuddle vegans looks like. And then this is what a pure blooded from Mexico imported looks like. Like look at her knees, that's crazy. Those knees versus these knees. I guess you can see a little bit of like stripes like right there, but it's definitely not near as dominant as this one. Look at her, that like the knees are like the first thing I noticed. They look different to me. 
Okay, so I thought we could just compare these two Afonopil Mikel Cody's really quick. So this is the new Mexican blonde. And then right here is my Arizona blonde. They look really different, I feel like, don't they? Like my Arizona blonde is like super white. She's also really old and I've had her for like almost four years and she still has not molted once. So, you know, she might look pretty different after a molt, I feel like. But like, check that out. Mexican blonde. Arizona blonde, Mexican, Arizona, Mexican blonde, Arizona blonde, Mexican blonde, Arizona blonde. Okay, regardless, I'm happy to have both of these and both of these and yeah. Awesome, like thank you so much Nate. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really liked this unboxing. I know this is species I've already had and a lot of people find these common and boring. I don't personally um, at all. So I'm really happy to have multiples of these species and I'm happy to share them with you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again so much, Nate at Micro Wilderness. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you won't be. Don't forget to win this video is probably way too much as I turn into that cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet picks.